Hey guys, have you ever taken the carpet out of your TJ? Or probably any Jeep for that matter. Well then you know how easy it is to tear them at the factory cutout holes. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to fix those rips. This is my center carpet of my Jeep. You can see it's got a big rip. First thing I'm going to do is just put the edges together so I don't have any of the nap of the carpet up sticking up that's going to stick together. And you push this all together like this. Then I'm going to take a glue gun and I use black glue sticks because they, they remain flexible. I'm just going to put a tiniest little dab just to hold together. This won't actually hold it, this just holds the two edges while you continue with the rest. Pretty big cut here. And just go just a little beyond it. This is just for uh, taping walls. I've used this before. I also usually use the little plastic piece that goes over splines. Looks almost like a Chinese finger puzzle. I'm just going to set that right down there. Put another piece right there, going beyond the edge. And I'm going to put a little piece on that corner. Then I'm just going to use this for the back side of a, a paintbrush. Just start right on your edge and work a little bit in like that. Just take this and just spread it out nicely. Spread to the edges. You want a nice even thin coat so when it goes in there's no gaps. No bumps. Yeah. The warmer you let the glue get, the smoother it will, uh, smoother it comes out. You can feel that it starts to drag when it starts cooling quick. So. Give it just a minute. Just letting the glue gun heat it up again. You can see it's starting to drip there, so. Just gonna remove those for a second till I get this all in place. Still wet, so I'm going to put this one across. Put that down. Start right here, right where we left off. Trying to get it right thin. Again, we'll do this edge to let it cool and dry before we put the next piece on. This piece right down in the the other 
glue to let it set up in the glue. And there, just like that. Now I'm going to let it cool. And the repair is all finished. Nice thin coat. Flip it over. Brush the nap a little bit. And there's the repair. All done. I noticed after I started editing it that I forgot to, uh, to actually clean all the little bits of carpet off the top. If you get it like that, just brush it a little more and pick the little pieces out and it'll look just like new and in the carpet you'll never know it's actually ripped. If you got anything out of this, give me a thumbs up. Or if you've got a question or a comment on how you did it yourself, put it down below. I'll do my best to answer anything that you ask. And like always, like and subscribe for more of this content.